Hello and welcome to the third part of the InnerSource Summit 2021. My name is Claire Dillon and I'm the Executive Director of InnerSource Commons. Today I'm going to give a brief look into the future about what's coming for the InnerSource Commons community. Before I go there, I just want to briefly recap on the InnerSource Commons mission that Isabel and Denise nee shared in part one of our summit this, this time around. The first point is that we want to create and share InnerSource knowledge. The second thing is that we want to grow the InnerSource community. And as we've seen, there's been an explosion of growth in organizations and individuals using InnerSource over the past year and years. But we think that this is just the beginning of a revolution in terms of how software is being developed worldwide. So we're looking forward, and I'm personally looking forward, to coming with this community on a journey of incredible scale and growth over the coming years. And we couldn't do that without the support and partnership of these great companies. Um, big thank you to Bitergia, GitHub, IBM, Microsoft, to all our partners, and our supporters, Comcast, Europass, GitLab, Indeed, Santander, and SAP. If you want to be part of this community and help us grow and scale the activities of InnerSource Commons, please do consider becoming an InnerSource Commons sponsor. And if you'd like to do that, you can either find out all about it, at the URL at the end of the slide, or contact me directly, or any of the board members or members of InnerSource Commons. And now let's look at what's happening in our three working groups for the future. First, we'll take the patterns working group. Well, the patterns working group are planning to actually create more patterns, not surprisingly, um, but also they're very keen to actually encourage experimentation with our community. And even more important for people to actually uh, contribute back their experiences of using these patterns, because the more evidence we get of folks that are using the patterns and hear the stories, um, then we can actually harden these patterns and make sure we can recommend the right ones to the right people at the right time. For the learning path, they are, of course, planning new content in the learning path in the coming weeks and months. But we also are continuing the great work that the translations group are doing in terms of bringing that to new communities and new languages all over the world. We're also looking at the ways in which the learning path content can get to you. So if you're interested in contributing to the learning path working group, please do reach out, just join the learning path uh, Slack channel or, or contact any of the folks that are leading that initiative uh, or just reach out in the general channel and we'll be able to put you in contact with the right folk. From the marketing group's perspective, we're going to be continuing our community calls. They've been proved to be very popular in the last year. Um, we are now holding them on average every two weeks, uh, some in the time zone that suits folks in the Americas and some in the time zones that suit folks in Asia Pacific. Those of you in Europe get to go to both and choose what you like best. Um, we'll be continuing our outreach work, looking at third party conferences and seeing if we could actually get more inner source content in articles and publications worldwide. And of course, we're going to continue trying to gather evidence from organizations who are using InnerSource. So if you want to work with us to help promote what's happening inside your company, please do reach out. I'd like to also share that in the next few weeks, our focus is going to be on two things. First, we are bringing out the state of the InnerSource survey for 2021, and you'll be hearing about that very, very shortly. And we're also looking to actually create a services directory so that our community can know about the people who are providing services in the inner source ecosystem. And that's great both from our community's perspective, but also from these vendors' perspective. And we want inner source commons to be the place where people can come to matchmake in that respect. So if you are providing services uh, in the inner source ecosystem, please do reach out and we'd love to actually talk to you about getting onto that pilot version that will be available in the next few weeks. Of course, if you want to learn more about what's happening in any of the groups, you can do so on our website, innersourcecommons.org slash community. Finally, I just want to say I hope you have a brilliant rest of day and to say a huge thank you to everyone involved in InnerSource Commons. It's a fantastic community doing fantastic work, and I couldn't be more pleased than to work with you. Thanks a lot. Bye bye.